guys, how's it going? Welcome back and welcome to your little getting started with Adobe Edition version 1.5. Now this is an older version of Adobe Edition. The newer versions are actually quite cool. A uh, hundred times more complicated, but ten times the bells and whistles too. Uh, this is an older version. I've had this thing for ever. And uh, I've been using it myself for cutting my own CDs. Uh, doing stuff on YouTube, etc. And I really like it. And uh, I'm also now learning GarageBand on the Mac. Uh, but I still like to play with this one too. Especially for doing like really, you know, quick stuff, putting it together, boom, 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 you know, because I'm really, really good with this program. But I'm not going to sit here and go through the entire program. That would take way too many hours. And I'm not going to cut a whack load of videos to show you every single possible thing you can do with what just gets installed on this thing. Um, you know from the beginning so and there are lots of add-ons you can get for this program tons of them in fact so anyways let's get going now you start on the edit view window to start with this is a multi-track program okay it can do up to 128 tracks no limit no time limit to each track okay you can play for as long as you want per track it doesn't matter so we're gonna get started here we're gonna hit the record button and I've got mine set up as a 32-bit float because I need access to 24-bit audio for studio recording, and I got to do that at 44100 hertz. Okay, so 44,100 hertz, and that's going to give me my 24-bit. I can also go 16-bit, which sounds pretty awesome too. 8-bit starts to get a little sucky though. But anyways, let's. Uh, we're going to press the OK button with our keyboard, but you can use your mouse too. I just move my mouse to the stop button, so when I'm ready to stop, I can just go click and I'm done. piece recorded. Now we're going to manipulate things. First you're going to want to play it back and you're going to hear some hiss. Now you might not hear it on this recording but so there's a lot of hiss there. I don't want that and you don't want that. We're not cutting you know vinyl records here right and we want it to sound really good really pro done. So we're going to go up into the effects area and we're going to go to our um, Noise reduction area to hiss reduction and click on that. And you only want to start with a light hiss. Now you can put multiple light hit passes on and it will do a light hiss reduction each and every time. So it's little small tweaks at a time. Okay, but you can also change stuff as well in here if you want to. I never ever mess with these areas, okay? I just mess with, you know, the light, the standard, or the high because they have their own presets that seem to be the best suited. So let's go for a light hiss and do one pass. You'll notice the waveform changes too. Okay, let's play that back. Well, that sounds good. I barely can hear any kind of hiss at all. Now at the beginning of the song too, we got this tail that started in because we just just gotten started. Now what we want to do here is we want to click on this and click and hold your left button, drag to the left, make that white, and then right click into the white area and hit cut. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing at our our back end here. We're going to click and go to the right and right click and hit cut. There we go. Now, next thing we want to do, of course, is we want to add some effect in here. Okay, so we want to, you know, have something like a chorus effect, we'll say. So let's go to the delay effects to chorus. And uh, I like the acoustic duet. It sounds really cool. So I'm just going to hit this. You can preview, though, 
if you want to because there's a whole lot of choices. Some of them will sound pretty cool. Some of them will sound very, very scary and nightmarish. Okay, it just depends on what you're playing for an instrument and how it'll turn out. But we're going to go with acoustic duet. And play it back. So now we've got that done, and we seem to like that. If we do, then we're good. You can undo things too, by the way. Um, now, the next thing I want is I want to delay, I want a reverb in here. Small dry room. Now I'm in a small room. I don't know about being dry. Well, I guess it is. It's not water in here. It's not raining in my room, so we're good. Let's see what that does. Preview though. <laughs> chamber don't really like that this one's called who is that and this is Voltarp's horn hall theater Chris Okay, done. Let's play that back. Not bad. Okay, so there's a lot of other things in here you can access. Uh, vocal remove, fade in. You want to do a fade in? Slowly bring it up. I don't really like that. Undo. Now, I want to just fade in a small section here. That's it. I want to fade in the whole clip and build towards it. Okay, so that's the thing. You've got to select where you want to fade in. Okay. Now let's go back here. This back over here where it belongs. here and I want to do a fade out. So you gotta select where you want it to start fading out at. So I'm gonna select there. Analyze. Fade out. Okay. Now Let's play the whole thing through. Come on. sliders around. Once you get used to it though, you're good.
abrupt fade out. That I really didn't like. So I'm going to go back and select this area. I'm going to start fading it out about here. Okay? Now that should give me a good fade out. Move this back. Move this. Come on. Get back there. bigger chunk of that to fade in with. That should be a little bit better. track area. Now once you do this, now you can start on the next track over here and continue on and you go back and forth between your track and your edit view area, manipulate the sounds and mix them as you need to. And then when you're finally done everything, you can do a complete mix down and uh, compile the whole file into an mp3. Now right now what we're going to do with this though is we're going to go back to the edit view area because we're going to say that we're basically happy. All we wanted was one instrument. We've got some sounds in it. We've got our fade in and fade outs. Actually, we want to change that fade out a little bit more. So I want to fade that out more, okay, at the end. And fade out. And we're going to fade it in more too. I, I like the fade in, fade out stuff. Okay, now move all this stuff back. you can pick from here. I always go with the MP3 Pro stuff and I click, uh, I want to save it to my desktop as well. So save. Yes, uh, you may be saving a, to a compressed Lucy format. Be sure to keep a backup of your original file if you wish to preserve full audio fidelity, which I've never had an issue. So give her. And we're done. We can quit. Nope, don't save changes because I don't care. And fire it up. Voila. So you just 
just cut your first studio quality recording on a cheap laptop. And it sounds awesome. So there you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. If you do, by the way, decide to get into this program, this is the version 1.5. You can find a copy somewhere. Uh, it is definitely a really easy version to use, but you can get the newer ones. And they're not bad if you're, you know, just starting out and doing basic, basic stuff, but it is a little confusing to mess with. Um, this is much simpler, especially if you've never, ever touched a program like this before. You don't want to go complicated as hell right away. Learn this one, master it, and then go to something bigger and better. Um, but uh, it is a great little program, and, you know, it does an awesome, awesome, awesome job. So, catch up.